this video we're going to install uh, another process manager or runner for Node.js uh, that called PM2 and we're also going to clone our uh, Node app uh, from our repository via git and we also run our app for the first time on the server uh, so here at first we're going to connect to our server with ssh i copy and paste the password and here we're going to pass uh, we are in server at first we're going to install pm2 pm2 is a uh, advanced for as it says production process manager on node uh, if you run your node app in the normal way, uh, way with node the same uh, node index.js node server.js if the app crash or if the app uh, makes some bugs uh, and it crashed um, the app won't restart but with pm2 it's automatically restart and it's automatically uh, handling uh, the RAM, but it's not all thing, and you can see here the future for the production use on node. Here, npm install pm2, and here we use g uh, to install pm2 globally on the server. Uh, PM2 is going to ins is installing. Uh, going to explore PM2. It's the nice tool, and uh, there's some uh, another tools like PM2, and you can use. But I prefer to use PM2 here. Our PM2 installed. Now we're going. Uh, now we should clone our app. But uh, at first, we should, uh, we're going to create a folder in the home directory, and here we make it directory called apps. And now uh, in, uh, in apps, uh, we handles. To our node app. Now with git clone, we're going to clone our app from our repository. Uh, I use uh, my uh, simple my pro open source project on GitHub. Now I copy the URL and git call clone this. And as you can hear, uh, we have Fuller and I change the directory in this and here is my project file. Uh, I'm going to use pm2 to start my app. Uh, there is uh, some pm2 commands like pm2 list to list the apps and here you can see it's empty but with pm2 start server js and now the server app installed the status is update uh, update and you can see here if pm2 monitor you have an amazing monitor for your node apps running with pm2 now we installed our pm2 uh, and also with pm2 like you can see the lights here and it seems uh, uh, I want to install why because we don't uh, we didn't use npm install to install our package for first time so Add it install and we start our app for the second time. Now in logs, 
you see the server app is running on 6679 and this is our server IP uh, if here server IP and the port 6679 you can see uh, our app is running with this port uh, with the not uh, with nginx you can config uh, and reverse proxy our uh, port our node port for for example here 679 on the port 18 80 but here we run our app for successfully so now in this video we know how to uh, install pm2 how to use pm2 and how to use git to clone our app on server uh, in next video we're going to configure our nginx to uh, reverse proxy our port and thanks for watching this video see you on next videos happy coding